Ben, I'm headed out to a training camp this weekend, and everybody keeps talking about the one by systems. They you do. got a one by? I do, yeah. It's simple, it's light, it's there's nothing to think about. All the blood goes straight to your legs. Don't have to think that keep that blood in your brain thinking about shifting. Yep, yep. I'm not really convinced. All right. Could be a lot of decisions going on. Yeah, there's well, some. Well, let's take this bike as a guinea pig. Let's walk it through and think about what changes we have to make. Okay. What can we show them? We got uh, we got graphs here. We got, we got gearing. We've got changes. Let's walk it through and see what we get on this week's Tech Tuesday. Well, Ben, you know we're scientists. We are, yes, very scientific. Well, we got a guinea yeah. pig here. Before we start cutting and, and dicing and slicing, let's establish a baseline. Where are we on this bike? Chain ring, chain ring, a bunch of gears, big and small. And that means numbers, and that means? A graph. A graph. A graph. All right, we're not going to get into the equations. Pretty simple. You have a low, low gear. You're going little, little steps. That's a bar. Each bar is one pedal stroke. So there's 20 bars on that. 20 bars. You got your 20 bar scale, but if you look here, there's actually some duplicates. Yeah. So if we get to bigger and bigger gears, we're going further and further per pedal stroke. So we want to go to a one by. Yep. I think easily done. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this chain ring off here. Okay. We're going to have a one by. Done. Good idea? It's, it's an idea. I don't know how good it is, but it'll get you the know, one by 10, but you're still gonna be with the, the 1136 cassette that's on there. So maybe a little limited with well, your gear selection. Let's find out. Okay. We're gonna do it. Ben, I can't believe I've been hauling around this stuff for this long. It's a lot of stuff. Feels good to get rid of it. Yeah. Enough. Out. And I got a one by. You got a one by. These these are your gears now. But I'm missing a bunch of bars and what happened to my my low easy gears? What yeah, happened? They they're all in the trash. They're oh. all in the trash. You took it when you took all of that stuff off, you left your big chain ring. I'm I'm not a big chain ring I, I, I need some lower gears, Ben. Alright. What am I gonna Oh. Huh. There you go. A smaller Small chain ring. ring. Let's okay. throw that on. We'll see what, what happens to this uh, to this graph. Let's change the numbers. All right. All right. We got the smaller ring up front. Yep. So I think I'm going to be better. Am I going to be getting up those hills? I, what kind of gears do we have? Yeah, you're getting close, Calvin. So we've got your your old gears are the black. The new yeah. gear uh, developments are the uh, the blue. So you've kind of shoved the range down a little bit, but you're still using that same cassette. So you see these jumps are fairly... Yeah, the same. We just, everything's come down the same. Yep. So I am getting a lower gear, yep. but I'm telling you some of those climbs, I'm having a hard time getting up. What can I do a little lower? Can I get a little lower gear somehow? So you got to extend the range. Oh. Uh, you can do that with this. Oh, a cassette hack. Yeah. 42 tooth. I'm going on with the 36 here. That's going to give me a lower gear. All right. I got to have it. Let's put it on. I'm loving the, the looks of this here. I'm going to be getting up those hills with that nice big cog yep, here. Yep, good range. So I'm shifting out, 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 out. Boy, I got a big jump here. Yep. Where did that come from? Somebody had to go. Yeah, we had to take one cog out since we put that big 42 tooth in. So now yep. we're dealing with a 15 to a 19 cog yeah. here. So. This, the, the 17 here, out of the life raft, can't have it. So that's that big shocking jump here. Yeah. My leg's cramping just looking at that shift al already. Yeah, but so. uh, they do have you covered though, Calvin. There's a, a 16 tooth Whoa. right here. That's great. Another cassette hack for the cassette hack. Yeah, so we'll take another one of those out, put this in, smooth out the whole, the whole smooth run. Smooth and nice. Yeah. Ready to arm wrestle. All right, let's uh, go. Nice, 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 even jumps. Yeah, should be real smooth. 
smooth. Let's put it on the bike, see how it looks. Can't wait to see my new shifting, Ben. Let's right. do it. Let's do it. Here Give we go. Give me some low gears, man. Whoa. A little bit of a rough uh, jump yeah. up there. Might need a new chain. Check the length This out. is costing me more and more. <laughs> a new chain. Yeah. We have the large cog, the 16, a new chain, and the big front chain ring. Yep. But did we get an improvement? Let's have a look. The graph. That's right. I hope we can carry a printer when we ride. Yeah. <laughs> we have dark blue here in our current setup with the 32. The light blue is, is the original cassette. Mm -hmm. we've, we've dropped down our gearing, so we do have some easier gearing. I'm liking that, I'm liking that. Nice progression. Yeah. It's gonna be as it was with the original cassette and the 32. Yep. So we, we did pick it up with those changes. So what we've got here, our last chart. Yep, Whew. last chart. Finish it up. So this is our, uh, our current setup in the blue yep. and our two by 10 setup right. in, the, uh, in the black. So you see, we've got, got some different gear ratios. This we do. essentially spans everything. Uh, no, 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 Give no, up no. a little it, bit. Uh, it gives up some. <laughs> we don't have the biggest gear. We're not screaming down like right. we like to. We're not raging yep. down the downhill. Yep. And creeping on up that uphill there, that really yeah. cruncher climb. Working a little harder. We gave up two of them. Yeah. Working harder, is that what I'm about? No, Calvin, you like to work smarter, ride smarter. Right? I do, and yeah. part of that is having more gears, more choices, more ice cream choices, okay. more food choices, okay. more music choices, okay. more gear choices. Okay. But if you're gonna be this kind of rider with all of these gears, you gotta learn your shifting. Mm -hmm. Your kind of rider? I'm in the blue camp. I like, you know, it's easy. 10, 10 gears, 10 shifts, shifter here, dropper here, fun. Uh, you know. Of course you're in the blue camp. So we are in the right. blue camp. We are the blue camp. Yeah. 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 So for me, more and more and more. For you, less and less. But we're agreeing, if you're going to use all the gears, you got to learn, you got to practice, you got to remember the combinations. Mm -hmm. Does take blood from the legs up to your frontal cortex. Yes. But let's agree, maybe one speed's best. All right. One speed's. One speed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy Tech Tuesdays, check out our Repair Help video library, which has detailed guides to a wide variety of common bike maintenance procedures. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos from Park Tool.